Yesterday's storm is causing big problems today along shorelines in western Washington. The heavy downpour overwhelmed some sewer systems near several beaches. So far, warnings have gone out for more than half a dozen beaches between Everett and Bremerton. King 5's Amy Marino is live in Muckleteo where the warning has gone out at a popular spot. Amy? Well, I'm live here at Lighthouse Park near the Muckleteo Ferry. It was really popular here tonight. Lots of people out here and expected to be busy all weekend long. But today, the state issued this warning saying the water here may not be safe. It's the sort of weather you hope for on Labor Day weekend. The perfect chance to head to the water. It's nice and sunny, drinking, hanging out with my brother-in-law. You know, we're just enjoying the weather. But what Roey Torres will not get to enjoy is this bucket full of crabs. This guy's seven inches. Signs at several Everett beaches are saying the water's not safe, and now they plan to throw these back. I can buy real crab at the store. <laughs> Further down the dock. Look at that big one right in the middle. Those two yeah, they would have been a keeper. <laughs> this family is also not taking any chances. The crabs they caught are going back in the sound. No, but we can't keep them because they're icky. The warnings extend to several spots around Everett. The State Department of Ecology issued a warning for Lighthouse Park in Muckleteo, but no signs were posted. Both park workers and parents said nobody had told them to be careful. Had I known, I wouldn't have had my son playing in the water for the past hour, so I'm a little bit wondering what's going on here and a little bit concerned. The state warns contact with infected water can cause stomach problems, skin rashes, and other illnesses. It may not be a good idea to go in the water, but that won't stop many from enjoying their last weekend of summer, even if it means staying on dry land. But it's a perfect place to come for a um, summer um, bonfire and a barbecue. And I did try to talk with park staff to find out where there were no signs posted. They tell me it's up to the Department of Ecology to do that. We reached out to them tonight to find out why there's no signs here, and they did not get back to us. We're live in Muckleteo. Amy Marino, King 5 News. Thank you, Amy.